Hello, baseball. Just about set to go now. And today's starter, Fergie Jenkins. What do you have on him? Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Slow roller to first. A flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. Now batting Wander Franco. The pitch. There's the strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. No score just getting started top of the first. The punch out there to gone. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three-pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. And first offering wow. is fouled off. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. In the air, foul off first. Ortiz drifts towards it. And that is that. Nothing doing for Tampa. We go to the bottom of the first, and the batter now, Jaron Duran, singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. On the ground to the left, Franco collects it. And save! He busted it down the line for that infield single. The effort was there with the jump throw. You gotta love it, but it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. That one the other way. Marco puts it away. Two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating Battle when you can't get it to fall. No, Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. David Ortiz up next for the Red Sox. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Lined in the left center, base hit. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just... Back here at Fenway, now the left fielder, Austin Meadows. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Righty delivers. Got him. And quickly one away in the second. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black and. You just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. In the air, right side. Betts pulls that one down. That's out number two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Yandy Diaz at the plate with two away, swings through that one. No score here in the second. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a 1-2-3. Back in Boston. We head to the bottom of the second. And here is Xander Bogarts. A wide to kick the pitch. Here's Bogarts driving one in the air. Deep left field. And it hits the top of the wall. Sheesh, Singy, that was a laser shot. And a good thing we have StackCast to give us the details. Yeah, get out of the way on that one. That ball flew out of the box at 112 miles per hour. You talk about generating a ton of power in that swing. He did it with quick hands, good lower half, and 
Just unloaded on that ball. Fires over to first. There to beat him by an eyelash. And now it's Christian Vasquez. You know, when you look around the game and think about the best power hitters in the sport, this guy, oh, now this ball gets down. Fires it to the plate. And he's in there as a run scores. It's not often someone hits a baseball this hard. It's worthy of the stack cast treatment, Singy. Well, I was anxious to see what that exit velo would be, and wow, 116 miles per hour. StatCast absolutely lives for these moments. You know, it's so cool to get that kind of data back almost instantly. To third, tag, got him! So the batting order turns over, and stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy... Hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Makes the catch, and the inning is over. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now one. On to the third inning, and now the catcher for the Rays, Francisco Mejia. Swing, and this one's Francisco. bounced to the ground. In plenty of time to first, and one away in the top of the third. Jenkins back to work. Manuel Margot swings through one there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Got him. And there are two outs. Oh, well, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats and let alone contact. That's a six. Well, got to pause on that thought as that Back here in Boston. And now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, let's get a better feel for that rocket by diving into the numbers with StatCast. Singy, he didn't miss it. No, clearly not. I mean, he launched that ball at 118 off the bat, and that's just ridiculous power. You know, very few guys can hit a ball as hard as he just did right there. In at second, no play. A run comes in on the play. Rafael Devers up to hit. Devers. The pitch. That one ripped. In comes the run from third to add on. And they're up by three. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. And a pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and they lead by four. Well done, drives in the run. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Kevin Euclidus up next for the Red Sox. And the pitch. On the ground left side, six, four, three, double play. And the inning is over. Three innings complete. The Red Sox four, the Rays nothing. Back here at Fenway, and stepping in is the speedy Randy Arozarena. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Next offering is foul back. Swings and misses, and there's one away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Next offering misses, and a count even one and one. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? 
Wow. You know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Loud. Swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Right through there, got it. Rays retired in order. Back here at Fenway Park, ready to go, bottom four. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. Line drive, base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? 109 in this case. I mean, that's just impressive, and it's so cool we can get that sort of feedback so instantly in today's game. In there safely. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Shane McClanahan out of the game. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Number 81. Now here is Jaron Duran. That one drilled left field. Now he decides against it, and he's back in at second. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. And a pitch. Into left center for a base hit. Around third. He scores, and it's now a six-run lead. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Off the bat, it was now headed back. for the gap Let's all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your Mark first couple of steps yeah. out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Takes it in for the out. Here's the Boston now cleanup hitter, David Ortiz. Good contact guy, good defender. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone. Meadows makes the catch, and that'll do. Back here at the ballpark, now it's Austin Meadows. That pitch in for a strike, strike one. Meadows. Next offering is fouled back. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Digging in, G-Man Choi. Slide to right his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know... You want to get that first knock out of the way, maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And now two gone. And here it comes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and it's Rafael Devers in the box. Leading off for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, Rafael. The right-hander back to work. Liner, base hit. So Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. 
Kevin Euclidus getting ready to hit. He's a guy who does it all. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. One run across, here's the throw to the plate, but it's okay. offline. It's 8 nothing. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's now game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Christian Vasquez, the hitter. And a base hit up the middle. The throw to third. And he's out. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Here's Kike Hernandez. And a pitch. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Around third. The throw into second. And it's in time to get him. But a run does come in to score. Matt Whistler taking over on the mound. He's into the game with the bases empty. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Now it's J.D. Martinez. The pitch. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Runner from third comes across. It's 11 to nothing. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. The first baseman, number 34, David Ortiz. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Ortiz. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. That one ripped left field. And it hits the fence. The run comes in to score from second. It's 12-0. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Now that back. was one of those swings that Look, feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, Never. and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Here's Rafael Devers. Rips one to right. Can't glove it cleanly. Throws to second. And he's out on the tag. That ends the inning, but they... Back inside Fenway Park. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Swings and misses. Francisco Mejia. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. That one's in there 0 and 1. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. 0 and 2 as he waves at that one. The Rays hitless so far in the game. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Leading off for the Red Sox. The Pitch. shortstop. Xander. 
lined, and that's a base hit. So, Singy, let's dive into the numbers, courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. Oh, now this is drilled to center. Way back there, on its way, and gone! So here's Christian Vasquez. Up next for the Red Sox. The catcher, and he deals. Christian. Line drive. Vasquez. Drops for a hit, he couldn't run it down. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today, so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And that one is gonna go. Kike Hernandez takes him deep, and they add on. It's 17 to nothing. Now on the mound for the Rays, Jeffrey Springs. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. And a base hit. Well, let's get a better feel for that right rocket here. by diving okay. into the numbers with StatCast. Yeah. Singy, he didn't miss it. No, clearly not. I mean, he launched that ball at 118 off the bat, and that's just ridiculous power. You know, very few guys can hit a ball as hard as he just did right there. Over the monster. Mookie Betts blasts one out, and they add to the lead. It's 19 to 0. Here's J.D. Martinez. Now batting, left fielder, J.D. Springs, back to work. Martinez. He swings and drives one out to deep left field, and it's out of here. J.D. Martinez takes it deep. Third home run of the season. It's 20 to nothing. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Brooks Raley gets the ball now. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Around first, digging for two. And he's got a double, fourth hit of the night for him. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate now for him. He looks locked in. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. So, man aboard. Devers now crushing the ball in this series. So far, he's picked up six extra base hits. And base hit. The throw in. It's offline, and he scores. And they extend their lead. Singy, he squared that one up in a big way. So let's take another look at it with StatCast. Dead assemble. Just incredible power in this swing as it came off the bat at 117 miles per hour. He saw it all the way. Really good weight transfer and just demonstrated some exceptional bat speed with that swing. Man, impressive. The pitch. Ground ball could be two. Franco tossed the second on the first double play. And that's the inning. Seventh inning coming up. Boston. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's Randy Rosarena. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. It's going wrong. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Bronco watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. Strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit. Next one misses at a count 1 and 2.
One down, base is empty. And another ball. Got him! And that's nine in a row. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Wow. Now the box comes up empty with a swing there. The Rays yet to pick up a hit here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The big righty strikes out the side. Back now at Fenway. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Christian Vasquez. Here comes a pitch. That one ripped. Base hit. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. And first offering is fouled off. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one's gone. He flexes his power with that swing. Home run number five on the season. It's 23 to zero. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Now a new pitcher for the Rays, Andrew Kittredge. This is his third time out now this back. year. And the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And that one's gone. A two run homer. And they tack on to their lead. It's 25 to nothing. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it's gone. He made him pay for that one. His fourth home run of the season. It's 26 to 0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. And the Rays. They go to the bullpen. J.T. Shagwa. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Laser. Base hit. Now he'll turn for second. It's a double at his fifth hit of the game. Now it's Devers at the plate. Devers, the baby-faced assassin. And the right hitter back to work. And Devers hits that one. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Throws to second. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. He's trying for third. And now a wide throw to third. Kicks and deals. Out towards right center field. He's in on the sack fly, and the lead continues to grow. Now so up back. next, Kevin Euclid. He's already homer here in this one. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bar. At the play, Christian Vasquez. This guy's turned into one of the best catchers in the National League, and this is a guy that doesn't just impact the game defensively. They count on him. Ripped into left center, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. And safe at second. He beats it. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition. And he's got speed to put on a show. 
Here's Kike Hernandez. Makes the catch in a goal. Welcome back. We go to the eighth. Here is Austin Meadows. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Absolutely remarkable, Boo. Congrats to him. He just looks so dialed in right now. I would almost bet he's got no clue how many that is in a row. I mean, when you're in the zone, so to speak, you almost can't be aware of the details and the numbers like this. It's been pretty amazing to witness. Such a demonstration of dominance. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two down. The wind of the pitch. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. It wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. The wind of the pitch. And one and two. Got close to the immaculate inning, and he just couldn't find the zone right there. When you think about it, nine straight strikes, so tough to do. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and that'll do it. Bottom of the eighth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jaron Duran. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Makes the grab one away. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Here's Mookie Betts. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. And a pitch. Rolled over to third. Slides. He's got it. Gathers and throws. And very nicely done for the out. Up next. And here is J.D. Martinez. Martinez the pitch this one trail to left no doubt about it as they add on more gone he's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one and he's just so locked in with this swing and he's just not missing right now a three homer game man it's so special and I tell you what it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well Meadows makes the catch and that'll do it JD Martinez just a all set to start the ninth in this one. Now up for Tampa Bay, Francisco Mejia. Well, as a hitter, you don't want to be part of a team that was no hit. I mean, that's embarrassing, man. So this guy right here, he's looking to do anything he can in this leadoff at bat to make it tough. Bounced up the middle, and it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's going to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Kevin Kiermeyer next to hit for the Rays. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. 0 oh 2 as he waves at that one. The punch out there. Back to back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this guy was so close to getting into the history books. He pitched well all game long. That one hit in the ninth inning. A little disappointing, but he got right back on track to finish it out and get the double.